Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics. Now today I don't have a tutorial as such, but instead I'm going to run through a bunch of handy tips that will help you develop a faster workflow. A lot of us use Photoshop on a daily basis, but no matter how much of a veteran you are, you can always learn new little tips that will make you think, how did I not know this before? By the way, I'm a Mac user, so I'm going to focus on just the Mac versions of the shortcuts. But all that means is whenever I say Command, it's the Control key on Windows. So let's crack on with the first one. Press Command and Z to undo, or Command, Shift and Z to repeatedly undo back through your history. What? You already knew that one? Well, I'm sure there's someone out there who didn't know about it. If you're that person, say hello down in the comments. Otherwise, let's find some more that you might not have known about. Press the Alt key while dragging a guide to make it horizontal or vertical. Yeah, that's pretty clever, isn't it? Double click the zoom tool to jump back to 100% and likewise double click the hand tool to instantly fit to screen. Alternatively you can use the shortcuts command and 1 or command and 0 which do the same thing. Hold the spacebar to move a marquee selection. Before releasing the mouse press the spacebar to fine tune its position. This is really handy when you're trying to make a pixel perfect selection. You can change the numeric values with the cursor keys. Whenever you're adjusting any numerical figures in any of the fields within the various panels, use the up and down cursor keys to incrementally increase or decrease the number, or hold the shift key to count it in tens. Toggle the visibility of multiple layers by clicking and dragging across all the eyeballs in the layers panel. Isolate just one layer by holding the alt key when you click, which turns off every other layer. Load the selection of a layer by clicking the thumbnail while holding the command key, Remember that's control for all you Windows people. Quickly toggle between blending modes by holding the shift key and pressing plus or minus on the keyboard. Alternatively hold the shift and alt keys, then use a letter to correspond to a specific blending mode, like N for normal, M for multiply, S for screen, C for colour, or L for, yep, you guessed it, hard mix. Wait, what? Hit the tab key to hide all the palettes and go into the, hey boss, what do you think of this design mode? Press the F key to toggle between different window fitment options like fit screen or fill screen. This one's especially useful for people who don't use Photoshop in its application frame mode. Turn on caps lock to activate precision cursor mode. Use this whenever you're trying to paint or make a selection and you don't want a great big icon getting in your way. Quickly increase or decrease the brush with the square bracket keys. Holding the shift key while doing so will change the hardness of the brush. Rotate a Photoshop brush by moving this little interface gizmo around. I wish there was a shortcut for this, but there isn't. Unless you set up multiple versions of the same brush at different angles, then use the comma and period keys to cycle through your brushes. Quickly adjust the layer opacity using the number keys, such as 5 for 50%, 1 for 10%, 0 for 100% or specific values like 7 followed by 3 for 73%. Change the selection tool's auto select settings to layer or group to easily move things around, or turn it off completely to avoid accidentally moving stuff out of place if you don't activate that particular layer. Automatically load files into layer within one document by going to File Scripts and Load Files into Stack. Copy the contents of multiple layers at once with the Copy Merged option under Edit and Copy Merged, or the shortcut Command Shift and C. Use the super secret shortcut Command Alt Shift and E to make a snapshot of the full design onto a new layer. There's no individual menu option for this, but you can access it by holding Alt while clicking the Layer Merge Visible option. Quickly access the classic Save for Web dialog options using the Claw, Nothing can stop the claw. which is the finger contorting shortcut Command Shift Alt and S which might eventually change to Command Shift Alt and W when they finally make its successor feature Export As more worthwhile. Move items around with Super Nudge, which is basically just nudging with the cursor keys while holding Shift to make it move 10 pixels at a time. Access the other tools in each group by adding the Shift key to its shortcut, like Shift and M to cycle between the rectangular and elliptical marquee tools. Navigate the Layers panel with just your keyboard by using Alt and the square bracket keys to select layers and Command and the square bracket keys to move a layer up and down. And finally, the most unbelievable Photoshop hack that will change your life. 
Customize your workspace background color under the right click menu. Why settle with three shades of gray when you can choose hot pink? So I hope you found this video of Photoshop tips handy. If you learned any new tricks, be sure to share it with your friends to help them out too. If you want to put these new techniques to use, you can follow along with some of my tutorials either on my YouTube channel or my website at spoon.graphics. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for a new design tutorial soon.